and I just wanted to show you this quick. This is the house that keeps on giving. Taking. Taking the customer's money. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yep, that came out of the go figure. Let's leave it. Get, get, get. There we go. Here's all the other work. Lintel. Quick work. Lintels. It's all plastered in there now. Round to today's job. Right, off the time lapse. Well, that was uh, fun. There's all the timber, and I just wanted to show you this quick. Sometimes you just push it, there's too much stuff can damage. I know. It'd be nice to push that, but. Nice bit of jacket going on as well, the brush jacket. Yeah. Right, so um, obviously. We'll get this down and probably have a quick break and then get this whole thing knocked out for lunch. So uh, we'll uh, get you back on time, that's all this has to come down the careful way, not the fun way. DL. I think it's a good job, this thing's being uh, redone. How's that for a seating? Doesn't even look 100 mil. There's not much this side, there's even less that side. Yeah, and then there's your windows as well. No lintels. I think they've just been hacked out and then put in. Stuffed in. There you go. Side ones are much better. It's like they used to have arches in them. You just chucked the window in and gobbed it up. Everything's a hack job here. Look at that. I can't see there being any cars in that either. We've got scars back for this. Bloody hell. It's a big blood wolf will take this one down easily. Yeah. Once that door comes out, the rest of it will just fall over. Yeah. As soon as the door holds it up. Eat and drink. Right, the roof's off, the lid is gone. And what we're going to do now is get rid of all the timber, there's a fire around the back, so we're going to get all this timber out of the way so we're not standing on nails. Anything that can't go on the grab wagon is going around the back, there's a big pile ready for the skip. So, hang on now, leave that. Get the window out. Let it go. Hang on, Al, Al, we'll clear this and then we'll get back to that. Let's get all the wood out of the way. And we're not taking the windows around as well. They're plastic. No rush for them. I want to get all this timber with all the nails out of the way. Okay. So, yeah, let's get all this cleared up. I think the, all the plastics are getting kept to be reused because there's nothing on with that. So we'll put that to one side inside. Or well, maybe to one side outside. If we tuck it down so it doesn't blow away. Put it over here out of the way. 
So yeah, all the wood and anything that's not grabbable like the felt and everything will have to go around the back with all the shite. Right then, block pavers, nice bit of a uh, patching up there. Definitely a good call to take this thing down. Yeah. If Jack Torrance was the uh, the tradesman, Who? Jack Torrance, the shining, oh. <laughs> he takes he bring the door down instead of uh, chopping it down. There's nowhere else. There's nowhere I can really put it. Pull it this way a bit. Bring it this way. One sec, one sec. This thing's barely. This thing's barely held in too. Look.
This one gets slow mode. Windows had no fixings in them, they were just phoned in and there was no, nothing tying the porch into the house either and we've had a bit of an incident here on the external of the porch, might need to take the top corner brick off that and then straighten that up and then we'll, we'll put that course in as well which they didn't bother with either. There were six screws in that whole porch, but the roof was the best bit, the roof took longer than the walls to come down. Right. Back to town, I'm going to Foundation. Jesus. And they were bloody hard to yank out because look, there were bricks on top of like. No, it's a brick like. It's a brick. It is a brick, yeah. Looks like a bloody paver. But yeah. As soon as I yanked 
them out. They were just laid on some damp coats over the soil. There's no wonder it was wobbly. See? Riddle with damp as well, because the damp coats. Oh no, there's damp there. It's not around the other corner, is there? there but go. the damp was below ground level, wasn't it? Yeah. It was below the block paper level. Well, here, look, there it is. Underneath the, uh, the block paving. So, we we'll have to wait till lunchtime and see what the customer says. There's not really much you can say about that. No. Wow. Speechless. And I usually talk, talk for Britain. This is the house that keeps on giving. Taking. Taking the customer's money. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Look at that spider go then. It must have uh, felt that way. This house looks got a little bit of wind. Right, let's get this cleared up. I'm going to go around the back and cut, cut a hole out for the plumber. So move some pipes. I'm going to book a therapy session. Just get, you, have to get a, uh, you have to get a chisel on that and chisel that way. Yeah, this isn't budging. This is where we should have brought the breaker, but we didn't think we need a breaker for this. Not really, no. Anyway, I'll go and do that hole out and carry on with this. Since that. Solid. Right, good morning. We uh, didn't really film it yesterday, so I'll give you a quick catch up. So, obviously, you saw us get all this down, and we discovered that there was bloody soil. The foundation was on top of soil. So, um, we spoke to the customer, and well, the only the only way to fix this is to get it ripped out and give it a proper foundation. Once it got over the shock. Yeah, once it got over the shock, yeah. To be fair, I'd be numb to it at this point. The amount of stuff that's been going on here. But, um, do you think you could do that in a minute? Sorry, that's my mic. I'll be picking that up, be dead loud. Yes. <laughs> Carry on. Put it down first. Thank you. Get over here. So, so yeah, so we've spoke to the customer and we're, so we're gonna get this slab destroyed find some decent ground to put a foundation on and then hopefully concrete will be here today if not tomorrow not exactly a big deal it gives us plenty of time to dig um, a little uh, thing as well just uh, quick we can't open this door because it's boarded but over there we did the concrete slab for there yesterday we didn't film any of that because it was absolute hell I was, I was having a breakdown <laughs> I'll give you a quick rundown the concrete arrived when we were still redoing the insulation so th they were here half an hour early fair place the concrete company they, they were they sat and waited didn't they weren't pushy they didn't no, rush us they were nice about it but it still it still doesn't take the pressure off to get it done quick and then but yeah so that got done in relatively quick time thank god so this um as you can see it's tight up to that bay window it was actually touching the lead the roof wasn't it yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to centralize it so bring it away from that window and bring it back towards this window and a porch you're allowed three square meters to the external to be underneath under planning to be planning permission and building regs exempt so because we're moving over slightly at the moment it's 2.8 square meters so it's going to be slightly smaller that way in width but we can bring the projection out a bit so we're going to go out a bit because it's, we're starting from scratch again so we can we can mess around with it and alter it like alex said the slab's coming out we'll take a few block pavers around the edge and we can start from scratch and put it wherever we like as long as it's under three square meters i know all about that because we're hoping to get a porch in our house where's the wood there's no wood the touch wood handle, touch wood well, I hope so. We bought a window. Yeah, we've got the window for it. We've got a big pile of bricks. Got some blocks. But onto this one. So enough babbling. We'll uh, get you set up on time. That's while we see how tough this uh, slab is. Quick tip, breaking a slab up, especially some of this size, you can lift it up so you've got a void underneath it, 
put a prop underneath it, which is what we're doing now, it'll, it'll just break. You just smash it to pieces. So I'll just show you. Get the bar underneath. Move it up. Slide that timber under out. There you go. So that slab is now floating, which means a couple of whacks and it'll snap. Pull the bar, snap them for some reason. <laughs> right, we'll just pile it on the drive, next to the head, you know. Yeah. Yeah, best part of the whole job. Yeah. Right, that's the exciting bit. Let's go back to time lapse. Most of the slab's now gone. I want to uh, see what the damage is under here. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Straight to sand on top of uh, soil. So, <laughs> whoever did the slab knows how to prep a slab. No, they know how to do a slab, but not prep one. <laughs> That's uh pretty shocking so at least for us it means it's a bit easier to dig up I suppose unless there's other horrors under here so yeah dad's just gonna go fix up a hole that needs breaking out for the, for the plumber. so while he's doing that I'm gonna get the rest of this cleaned up then we'll have a quick dinner dinner break I'm getting ahead of myself here and then I'm gonna start digging and we want to get back early today because it's the 28th of April. Jedi Survivors came out today, so I'm waiting for a text off my mum to say it's arrived. So, so let's make hay while the sun shines. This is really the house that keeps on giving. So, I've um, moved all the block pavers to whereabouts we're going to be digging. And just started scraping back some soil then with this here spade. And uh, there is a pipe right in the corner. It's cracked as well by the looks of it. But uh, I hope that's dead because one, it's cracked and two, 
Look where it is. Right in the corner. At near t well, hopefully with it being near the top, we might be able to find a way to get around that with lintels or something, but... <laughs> Every single thing. Right. Well... We'll just have to, uh, I'll wait for Dad to get back, he's going to pick up some milk for everybody, so um, I'll just have to see, see with Dad and Jason what on earth to do. Oh, and this was all the way through as well. Yeah, I'll uh, wait for Dad and then um, see what he says. Ten past four, we're done. Well, so I should say Dad's done. I've barely done anything. Yes, you have. I couldn't dug this on my own. I could have been crippled. <laughs> but uh, there you go. So there's the size of it. There's Dad for comparison. There's the size of the dig. It's the same size as an eight before sheet. Yeah, an eight before sheet. Twenty-four by twelve fifty. And there's what's come out of it. There's uh, there's one big pile of shit. So, Ooh. pretty butterfly too. Butterfly. But there you go, so that's ready for concrete tomorrow. Obviously, oh well, we just need to do levels and everything, but other than that it's ready, but. We need to come with this up here. Yeah, so in the way. if you didn't hear him, we're gonna take a few uh, pavers up now, to, uh, tomorrow, to see if that's going anywhere. Because if it's dead, we can get that out and. It's going that way. Yeah, it's going that way. If you look there, it's going the width of a tape underneath the paver. Yeah. So that means unless those block pavers run up a lot, that's going nowhere. There's no, no gullies, no outlets at the tips of any description. And the downspout for the house is going to be down there. And where the elephant shrunk is. I'm pretty sure we can do away with that. We'll hope so, because it's right in the way. <laughs> yeah. And there was, there was a dead land drain in the middle as well, so that was no problem. But at least... We'll cut through it carefully in case it's been used to see it. But uh, from tomorrow, 
this porch will have a much better foundation than it did this morning. Yeah. It'll have concrete in it. Which this didn't. Yep. And the uh we're just towed under there. Yeah, he's towed under there a little bit, so anyway. We're using a laser. Yeah, laser as well. So we set the laser and then we just measure down off the laser. And our measurement is eight eight five to hit, so that's how we've done that. So we'll see you tomorrow for the leveling on the concrete team. Right, Saturday morning, Saturday the 29th. Yeah. 29th of yeah. April, and it's boot time. They have to survive a release. Yeah. So there's there's the big pile of um, shite come out of this little hole. We've, uh, we've, um, we've spent an hour messing around with this pipe, and um, it's running up towards me. And um, we've had the camera up it, and it just goes on and on and on. But it's too high up in the ground for anything to attach to it. So there's no gully or anything around here. There's nothing, nothing to go in it. So, so the uh, the decision has been made to just chop it off, bung it up, and then if there's any problems down the line, it can be re it can be redirected around. Because it, it's. it's Top of the pipes three inches below ground level so it's not a big deal to move it so the main thing is getting the concrete in for this which is due now between now and two o'clock we've marked out the walls now got our positions you can just see a pencil line there so we've centralized it between the windows so that's 150 back and that allows 50 mil for um, insulated plasterboard to go in there same this side and when we when we worked when we checked it, we got a bit carried away and gone a bit over there too far. So we've took another 150 back this way, so walls in the centre of the concrete now. And we're putting about 450 of concrete, well, about 400 of concrete in it. So we're just waiting on the uh, concrete to come. And then we're heading inside to block that door. That's all there might just see it through the window that's coming out that's getting blocked up with fiber lights and then there's a door to knock out to replace that door at the back of the house so we're like swapping them from the front to the back because this is the extension which is like a granny flat so it just then you just need access so that, that racket you can hear is the the stairs going in the new stairs so we're going to have a quick brew and take it from there Well, that was a little bit, uh... No, I didn't. Again, you got the keys. I think we're done with the division Yeah, you've cut the lintel, haven't you? Yeah. Nice one. Right, so that was all a little bit, uh... rushed and hectic, but... concrete is in. The, um... They've run out of water. I've never heard of them run out of water before, so... Thankfully, the customer has a hose pipe, so... There's a bit of... bit of tough and bit of wet stuff in there, so... But it's in to the pins, roughly, hopefully, um, and so that's that done until Monday. We'll be back here to build that up to foundation level, and yeah, we have to drop it, of course, because as you can see, dropping it down, it's already um, level with the hardcore level, so obviously we had to adjust for that, so, and I think we just about may have enough bricks. We picked up enough for uh, three or four courses, but now we've got to pick it up, so. But I think we've got that at least. So, anyway, that's now done with till Monday. Next job is in there, where it's blocking up the doorway. We've took out the block, the blocks. We've took out the doorway already, so now it's just a case of getting all the blocks in. Dad has very kindly got them all pre-cut for me. Thank you very much. So, I think 
we're gonna load up, have a quick dinner, and then I'll get a mix on. So yeah, we'll um, time lapse the loading out, and then we'll see you after lunch. <laughs> 